What's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here, just getting ready for Hartford, Connecticut Regional Championships. Super stoked to be here. There's a huge line actually. I just forgot the camera so I had to run back to the car. And it's like, what, 8.30 now? Something like that. Apparently registration is supposed to end at 8.45, but it's not looking that way considering the line is still huge. Uh, we drove eight, like eight and a half hours to get here. Totally crazy, got in at like 3 a.m. last night. Didn't get a whole lot of sleep. So we're a little sleep deprived, playing a little bit of a crazy deck. Gonna be playing Decidueye today. Uh, I'm excited about the list. It's my very own list, made it up this week. So uh, we're gonna give it our best shot and see how it goes. Thank you all for checking it out and wish me luck. Yo, what's up? So we're here with all my friends. Check it out. Here's everybody, everybody. Yo, what's up? There's Frank. Okay, so we're here in line. It's apparently, you know, it's like 8.35, so, you know, registration was supposed to be ending in 15 minutes, but check out this line, okay? We're all the way outside. There's people out here. There's people back here. I mean, there's just a lot. There's a lot going on right now. Uh, looks like I heard uh, one of the judges say 9.30 is when they're looking to have registration done by now, so just got here, and we're an hour behind, so gonna be a long long day on three hours of sleep but uh we're gonna see how it goes stay optimistic let's get it that's good this gets you a drawstring bag right down that way there we go you know who doesn't like raffles right awesome thank you have a good one man yep apparently gonna be getting a drawstring bag basic so basic right now just registered and here's our swag stuff we've got a little swag bag there sponsored by bluebird games the hartford regional championships also got a little uh competitor badge here with a lanyard bluebird Games says that on it and a guzma promo liking that guzma promo pretty cool you know at least we're getting a good promo for these but this was a 40 dollar registration and i guess we do got four raffle tickets so Let's go see if we can do anything with these raffle tickets to uh, help make up for the fact that I just spent $40 and uh, I don't got no play mat. No. All right. What's up? A bunch of fans out here today. Darium's fans hey. playing a fun game with this kid, Zach. Bunch of fans over here. What's up, guys? Darium's, how you doing? Hey. Woo. All right, Kirsten, show off the things you just got. Uh, let's open them over here. I got this. Little notebook for school. Beautiful. And I am so, so excited. Show us the deck box, Kirsten. Has my favorite Pokemon on it, Krogon. She loves Krogon. And beware is some one of my new favorite Pokemon. Hold on, too. let me get some shots of this. All right, beautiful deck box. Got beware on it. Look at that. What's that thing called? Uh, that's a Pikimiku or whatever. Or and uh, and what's that? That's a Poplio. blue one. Poplio. There he is, Poplio. All right, Pikachu. Pikachu. Beautiful. Krogon and then look at this Krogon. Show me the Krogon. Look at his face. Look at him. All right, hold on. Look at that crow gunk, man. Oh my god. She saw the crow gunk. She had to get it. And show me the beware one more time. Look at that beware. Adorable. There's something inside too. All right, show me. Oh, look at these. Oh, nice little divider. Oh my, my gosh, dog. you didn't even know there I were Sandy know. Gas. Sandy oh. Gas is one of Kirsten's favorite Pokemon. She had no idea. That's awesome. I also just got something from the vendor. Super stoked. I got this Misty pen. Hold on. Hold up. Look at you doing your thing, Misty. Just finished round one. I played against a, what is it? A Nine Tails deck. Just played against a Nine Tails GX deck. It was pretty cool. Uh, good matchup. Was able to go 2 0. Game one went really long. It was like 35 minutes. Uh, but just basically, the Decidueye deck just does what Nine Tails does just better. Literally, my opponent, is, I was playing Max Potions. He was playing Potown. And I was just healing off the damage with, uh, with Max Potion. My opponent came, like, you know, it was like, oh my god, like your deck literally just does what my deck just does, just like better. And. <laughs> You know, I was like, wow, you know, that's that's like what I was trying to set out to do. Like, I really like Nine Tails. I like the thought behind it. But I think, like, Decidueye kind of executes the strategy a little bit better. Uh, yes, it's, like, ability reliant, so you have to, like, deal with that. But, uh, you know, so, 1-0, super stoked. Otto just finished his round two. How'd you do, Otto? I beat a Ghost Spot. Ghost Spot, and what are you playing today? Solgaleo. Solgaleo. He's famous for Solgaleo, so he's playing it. And uh, how'd the matchup go? Uh, it was a wash. A wash, 2-0. I mean, if, you, if you're watching this, it was a great match. A great, a great match. Player. Uh -huh. But uh, good matchups all around. Kirsten just finished her round. She played against Caleb Gedimer, really good player. Yeah, and I tied. She came out with a tie. What was the uh, what was the matchup? Uh, Bulu Bulu. <laughs> all right, so Kirsten's playing Tapu Bulu Vigvol today. Played a nice mirror match. Ended up one and one. Went to time, right? Awesome. So that's it. 
I'll check back a little bit later. We just finished round three. We're on our lunch break now. I'm here with Kirsten, Otto, and Will. So, just had a tough tie in my last round. I did win my round previous though, so I'm 2-0-1. My round against Gardevoir round two went really well. I was able to lock my opponent out of the game with my uh, the non-GX Alolan Ninetales uh, with the uh, Luminous Barrier ability. So that was really cool. I was able to wall with that and kind of just snipe everything with the Decidueyes and then eventually use Espeon to devolve everything. Uh, I actually had one close game uh, where I sycamored and I had the Espeon down and it was like the turn I had to devolve everything and I was going to take three prizes and I sycamored and whiffed the energy and it was brutal because then my opponent Guzmit up the, the Espeon EX and I had no rescue stretcher left to deck so we had to go with plan B and we had to start using Lele to actually knock out these things and it was nuts but I was still able to pull that one out. Uh, that was uh, very grindy though. I would have preferred to just uh, have lifted them all up and destroyed them that way. Uh, so we got the win there, and then my last round against Galissapod Garbodor, you would think is actually not a great matchup for Decidueye, but it's fine. I mean, if you can go in there with a Lowland Ninetales GX really early, you could use that Ice Blade attack and just, you know, pick off uh, pick off your opponent's Trubbishes and things like that. And if you would get a Decidueye in there quick, then you're doing 70 damage snipe wherever you want on your opponent's side of the field. So that's, like, super good. And it was just, like, pretty easy to keep Garbodor off, you know, out of play. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Andrew Mahone. That's Andrew Mahone from Darius Competitive. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Back to what we were talking about. So, uh, I just played against Glissify Garbodor. It's ended up in a tie, even though I think that matchup's good for Decidueye. I mean, you can hollow hunt for your field blowers back. You go in with Ninetales GX and Ice Blade, and uh, all their Pokemon have 70 hit points, so it's just really good math for, you know, using your ni Alolan Ninetales and then a Decidueye Snipe as well. You could two-shot a Garbodor with, uh, with Alolan Ninetales GX too if you just Ice Blade it twice. There are a lot of ways to get that pesky Garbodor out of play. You know, you could do 70 damage to it and then Miraculous Shrine the thing. Uh, there are just, you know, you got a bunch of different options and it's not that bad of a matchup, especially with max potions and things like that. It's easy to glance off their hits and just survive, you know, longer into the game. So I won a long kind of game one against the deck, was able to keep Garbodor out of, out of play. And then game two, I prized the Alolan Ninetales GX. I should have scooped it a little bit earlier. I probably let it go on about 10 minutes and then realized that I wasn't going to win. So I scooped it up. Went to game three, went first, got all the way down to you know the final prizes, and it's very close, and I have a Sycamore, and all I need to do is hit a DCE so that I can energy drive from game. Probably have like 18, 19 cards left in my deck, so you know, uh, not, not perfect odds, maybe 40% odds of hitting it. I whiff, so it ends in a tie. That was turn three of time. Uh, I was gonna go on to win the game anyway. I don't think my opponent had any way to be able to pull out a, a win there, so I was gonna go on to win, but a little unfortunate they went to time. So 201. Can't be too disappointed with that though. And uh, just looking forward to the rest of the rounds. My friend Otto here though. Hey. How you doing, Otto? I'm 3 0. 3 0 with that Sogaleo deck. Sogaleo. Treating yeah. you real good, man. It's a fun deck. I like it. What matchups have you played so far? I beat round one, I beat a Blisspod. Round two, I beat um, Ho Salazzle. And then round three, I just beat Metagross. This guy just beat Ho Oh Salazzle with his Sogaleo deck. How'd you beat this Holo Salazzle deck? Lele is a great card. <laughs> Underrated. So you just charge up Lele with the Rayquaza? You set up a Lele and you set up a Solgaleo and you can make them pink. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Very cool. And then Will. Will yeah. also rocking that 3-0 record. Feeling pretty good about himself. Will, what do you play today? Uh, I'm playing Volcanion. Volcanion. Uh, round one I played Metagross. So it was a layup. You know, yeah. Round two is Guardi against, you know, Jonathan Crespo. He won uh, Philly last year regionals. So, like, I kind of, I don't know, he kind of dead drew game one. And then, um, he just really couldn't hang in the game two. I just had the Guzmas when I needed the Guzmas. And he had Sylveon. I just ended him out of every single matchup of Ribbon. So, that's pretty much what you do. And then round three was against Ghost of Garb, which is, a uh, you know, this really bad matchup for them. He had the candy, but he just, he just he didn't get to work the whole time. Got it. Well, congrats to Will. All right, and we got Kirsten here. Kirsten just angle. won. <laughs> we got Kirsten here. Kirsten just won. How I'm you doing, one, Kirsten? One, one, one. One, one, one. She's really sampled all the different ways to end a round so far. She's got one of each. Yeah. So, how'd you feel about your last round? It was fine. I played against Nine Tails. Uh, it wasn't hard. <laughs> was it hard? Why was it not hard? Because they just die. <laughs> so, you used Tapu Bulu, just one shot the Nine Tails. Yeah. No big thing, right? 
sweet. So, that's it. Just checking in. We got six more rounds. Craziness, but uh, we're gonna do our best. <sighs> Yo, what's up? So, I'm in the back of the convention center. Here's Kirsten. Hey. So, I'm 502, which is pretty sweet. I had a couple like really close ties here today, you know, like situations where I had win on board or was like gonna win. They were all because like I didn't scoop a game early enough, but like the games that I didn't scoop were really close. They were like 50 50 games, and it just like I didn't scoop them because I thought maybe I could get it, and they didn't buff out. So, I just played against a Guard of War GX deck, and it played three Max Potion, which is wild, because I also played three Max Potion. So we were just like Max Potioning a lot, things got really grindy, but was able to squeak it out in the end, so I am in a situation where I just need to win one more, and then I can ID into top 32. Cross my fingers. So Andrew is currently 502, uh, and he's about to play his sixth, or seventh, eighth, eighth round? Eighth round. Uh, and so he asked me to film some of the vendor stuff for you guys. a lot of stuff here they uh, this is probably like the most that I've seen from uh, vendors at regionals like this is a lot there's like five different shops here it's super crazy all right I've located him he is right here in this flannel right here there he is hey so I just ID'd in the cut 603 Woo! super excited uh, gonna be in top 32 tomorrow and it's just a big relief Pretty cool, I'm feeling very excited because I got to play it with a deck that I made up myself this week. So it's pretty gratifying, just like super excited about it. And uh, I can't wait to show you guys my list. So i uh, gonna be playing in day two tomorrow. I think it's like five or six rounds. Six rounds, is it six rounds tomorrow, anybody? Five. Five, five rounds, six rounds, something like that tomorrow. Uh, anyways, so gonna try and make uh, top eight. We'll see how it goes. All right, so we're here. It's day two, just started top 32 and play my first round against this guy, Noel. Oh yeah, yeah, we had a great series. Uh, it was pretty dope, but uh, really close. He really, he almost knocked me out with a Curly. He literally almost won the game. Oh, it was a coin flip. Curly has got this attack. What, quick turn? Yeah, it's quick turn. Quick turn. Oh, I was gonna show it. Show it, show it off, show it off. Oh, they took, the oh, they took our decks. They're deck checking us. But it's uh, for a DCE, it's flip two coins, 30 damage times the number of heads. Uh, and uh, he put a choice ban on it, yeah. psychic type. I was like trying to run the game back with Espeon EX, knocked out both his guardies. You know, he, he's got the Curlia still though, and goes in, and he's only got two prizes left, so if he knocks it out, it's game. And uh, it, w it was game two, so he would not have had time to finish game three, but uh, he, w he only gets one, so then we gotta run it back. Crazy, like ends to one, just ridiculous. But ends up close series, got that first one, so we're at 7.03. Hopefully uh, we win two more, and then we can ID our way into top eight, that'd be great. Uh, Otto's here. What's up? Otto lost his first round. I lost to Igor playing Volcanion. <laughs> yep, that's not a good matchup. No. Yep, so better luck than the rest of them. Yeah, hopefully. Here's Sam Chen. What's up? Yep, Sam Chen, how'd you do your first round? What? How'd you do your first round? I tied. Tied? What'd you tie against? Uh, Galisopod and Garbodor. Uh, that's, that's a weird matchup for Guardy, right? It's like a 50-50 matchup depending on how you set up, and we had a really long game one that was sort of grindy and ending and trying to draw out of it, so there was, wasn't enough time for game three to finish. How do you feel about, like, this format, do you think it's like a little slower than, I feel like a lot of the game ones are just like really long game ones now. Yeah, like, I, I feel like the games do slow down because there's less, I mean, VS Seeker obviously decreases the consistency of decks. I mean, right. There was VS Seeker and Lele. Ends really stick. <laughs> yeah. Ends can st and you, yeah, ends stick right now, and, and uh, when there was VS Seeker and Lele, you could reasonably expect to draw some, I mean, I was playing Drampa too, so like, right. I could big wheel always to get out of it, so like, I had new hands every turn. Right. So now it's like, well, 
Oh, well, that's two Ace Arolas and two Goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. go ahead. Someone play Ace Arola. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the, yeah, especially in that matchup, I play Ace Arola, Glycopod Gar plays Ace Arola. It's like, a lot of healing going on, too. A lot of healing, yeah. so it just slows down. And I'm getting stage twos out. And I'm, like, there's just more things that take time, right? Like, magical ribbons usually takes about 20 seconds or so. Right. Beacon yeah. takes time. Beacon takes time. It's just, there's attacks that take time. Twilight so, takes time, yep. I wouldn't hate 60 minutes plus three. But yeah. Then again, like, I also want to get out of regionals earlier, so I don't know. Exactly, yeah. I don't have any power to change anything, right. so I'm just going to play by the rules they give me. Awesome. Well, thanks for chiming in, Sam. All right, see you later. Yep. Yo, so I'm finally home from Hartford, Connecticut. It's been about 24 hours. I'm still recovering. I mean, the, like, 20 hours of driving I did this past weekend has got me completely exhausted. I could barely go to work. I could barely get my schoolwork done. I am in a rough spot, but I was able to finish 26th place out of like 740 or some players, so feels pretty good, you know, definitely can't complain with the finish. I didn't do, end up doing too well on the second day of Swiss, unfortunately. I won my first match against Gardevoir GX on day two of Swiss, but then played Ryan Sablehouse's Volcanian List, which had two enhanced hammers in it. It was really rough to play against, so that was a bad matchup. Even though it was close games, you know, ended up losing. Then I played against the Ho Salazzle deck, Patrick Van Story, who ended up finishing in the top eight as well. And that was a really close series. I beat him in game one and then lost a very close game two. And game three, he was able to just set up a couple of Ho-Ho's very fast and just executed my board position. There was nothing I could do about it. Just back-to-back -back Guzman plays to end the game in just a few turns. Uh, so, just very aggressive play from Patrick. He did a very good job, ended up making top eight, so congrats to him. At this point, I was out of contention for top eight, so I was a little bummed out, but ended up, you know, playing against another bad matchup. Uh, it was Drampa Garbador. I consider Drampa Garbador and Fire Dex to be Decidueye's two worst matchups, so I played a, a string of just like three rough matchups in a row, and then, you know, I ended up losing to the Drampa Garb deck too. They were some close games, and I almost was able to pull out uh, a tie, but ended up losing to Drampa Garb, and then played a, a Bulu Vika Volt was my last match and ended up tying it too, so I went 1-3-1 one, and one on day two. Uh, which was a little, you know, uh, it was a little bit of a bummer after going 6-0-3 day one and not dropping a single series during the first game of Swiss and then losing three in a row during day two. But that's just sometimes, that's just how the tournaments buff out. But still proud of the deck. I think Decidueye is really good. You know, proud of the day two finish. I can't, can't complain too much. Got $250 in prize money and a box, so... Feels pretty good to just get out there, get another placement, get some more points towards my world's invitation. Happy about that. Just happy to be home and finally relaxing after such a long and arduous weekend. So thank you all for checking out the vlog. Uh, I'll be going to, I think the next regionals I'm going to is the one in Tennessee in December. That's actually on my birthday weekend, December 14th. So pretty stoked about that. But until then, just going to be grinding out some League Cups, just trying to get my League Cup finishes up. So Thank you all for checking out the vlog. Here's my cat. Here's just trying to show her off. It's pistachio. What's up? Say hello. Hey. So that's it. Uh, hope you all having a having a nice week. Thank you all for checking out the video. Peace.